excuse my fan in the background. I'm hot. It's summertime. Just it is what it is. If you hear it, I apologize. Let's roll it. Yer, what's good? It's Dutchie Monroe, and I would like you to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for whenever I post another video, you will be notified. Now, in this video, <laughs> in this video, I wanted to come and show you guys how I moisturize my hair while I have this protective style. I just woke up a little while ago, and I was about to moisturize my hair, and I said, let me just show you guys. I figured <laughs> I would come and show you guys this because I don't protect the style often. And when I do, I need to make sure that I properly take care of my hair. So let's get into why is it important to moisturize your hair at least every couple of days when you have a protective style in your hair. First and foremost, it eliminates breakage and dryness. What would be the purpose of a protective style or doing a protective style when you end up still breaking off your hair makes no point what would be the point what would be the reason what is the reason next it is to help your hair to continue to grow while it's in this state you will need a source of moisture like think of your hair like a plant can plants grow without moisture no lastly Moisturizing during protective styling would just help boost shine when your hair is looking a little dull and it would just bring your scalp some life. And my head is itching, so I know it will help with the itch. I know. I'm doing this protective style to take a break from my hair shade. Why would I try to take a break and break that mug off? That makes no sense. Mm -mm. I had got my hair trimmed a month before doing this video and then protective styled right after it so I could keep my hair intact. It's been in tip top shape ever since then. I got fresh ends. Why would I mess up my hair? But either way, I could tell my hair is suffering from tension, manipulation, and when I put it up in styles at times, dryness around the scalp is, is there and it's because it's being exposed to environment more. And I can admit my stylist grip game is hella strong, hella strong. So I need to moisturize often. And when I moisturize, I can tell it helps because the braids don't feel as pulled on as before. This is a lot of hair in my head and I am not used to holding up all of this. My big old head plus this hair, all of this hair can be a lot sometimes, okay? <laughs> So let's get into how to properly moisturize your hair while it's in a protective style like this one.
what I do works for me and it might not be a very correct way to do so, but this is what I've done and it does the job. So first, I first spritz my hair and mostly my scalp with water. And then I go in with a leave-in conditioning mist or hair milk that is very lightweight. I so I've been keeping something in my stash of products that I probably will never mention ever again after this video. The placenta plus coconut oil leave-in conditioning treatment. Back in my early natural days, when I first started dyeing my hair, I was using a product that had placenta in it to condition my hair. And ever since then, I've just went for these items because they moisturized my hair so good, good enough that my hair felt so healthy right after dyeing it, permanent dye. I'll probably make a video of me using these old, old, old school products because I used to really love them. And it's pretty weird because they have placenta in it to put in your hair. But now, so doing this, I try my hardest to avoid creamy, thick leave-ins or curl creams because all I need to do is really moisturize my hair. It's not like I'm styling my hair or anything. More so just prepping it to last another couple of days through whatever I put it through with these braids in my hair. Right after going, Going in with my leave-in or hair milk, I would like to seal it in with a light oil. Now this hair, this product that I'm using today, it's from a black-owned business, black-owned brand, Naturalistic Elegance. And it's from a loctician named Shireen B. Shireen B, you ready? She has a salon located downtown Brooklyn doing lock services. She does hair, music, management, CEO, holla at you. Everything you name it. Check her out. I'll post her info in the description box and her salon info in the description box. Her oil is made up of just four ingredients. Avocado, sunflower, castor oil, and fragrance. This oil has only cost me $5 per bottle and it has a spritz top that I love to use because it could just spray directly where I want it to go and it controls how much is coming out all at once. Come, 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 come. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Rub that bad boy in. Oh, that shit smell good. That shit smell good. I use this oil in my hair, on my body, my feet, shit, anywhere you can put it, I use it. Once again, I'll be putting her info in the description box below. And what I like to do is put the oil in my hands, rub it in, I'll apply it directly to my scalp and rub it in like a little head massage. I use a lot of light products to moisturize my hair so I don't weigh down this hair creating more tension than my hair already has experienced. These braids are constantly pulling on my real hair, my real strands, and there is no need at all to make the braids even heavier than they already are. And now that I've shown you guys my routine and I've moisturized my hair in the process, I think I'm gonna just end this video right here. So thanks guys for always tuning in and watching and subscribing. And no matter what, Stay you, stay true, stay high, stay fly, and it will get you by. Till then, later.